What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're back with another Forsaken video and another roundup of several topics worth knowing about. There's actually a really strange glitch that's just happened with the milestones, it's gotten a ton of people really confused. So I want to explain what it is and also make sure you guys aren't wasting hours of time grinding milestones that are glitched out. I also wanted to go over a few extra rewards that are tied to max rank. So these are secrets, they're not shown in game, the kind of additional stuff, but some really cool items. And on top of that, I'll be talking about exotics, how the engram system has changed and some tips I want to share about quests and random stuff like that so as always lots of topics in this one video of course if you enjoy it a like rating is much appreciated and let's get into it so let's talk about the whole milestone situation and the super confusing super misleading glitch that happened of course i'm sure some of you guys have noticed now it's a bit of a mess for a lot of reasons but essentially all the milestones of course the main powerful engram sources kind of reset yesterday and gave everyone the impression you can do them once again there's basically a four day reset now as i'm going to explain of course this isn't actually the case and you cannot get extra powerful engrams from this so it's not going to give you above 500 loot basically the reason it is extra confusing is because bungie did kind of imply in a lot of interviews and the build up to forsaken that there would be a four day reset and it wouldn't just be the seven day kind of weekly reset you used to on tuesdays i can't remember which milestones but it did definitely say that some of them would be on a four day reset as opposed to the usual seven so a lot of us were expecting another reset on saturday this one occurred several hours after that about six or seven hours so it was kind of like a delayed thing a lot of us then thought okay there isn't a four day reset you can now get a seven second set of powerful drops. So the exact milestones that did reset were for the heroic story missions, the daily ones which do three of, also the strike playlist, and on top of that the crucible and gambit milestones as well. So on all my characters I've actually done these milestones, especially my hunter here which is my main. You can see the gameplay, this is me doing the third story mission for the milestone, I complete it and it gives me a 500 submachine gun. So essentially what's actually going on and Bungie have acknowledged this as an issue, but it's basically a visual glitch in the UI that shows you, of course you can do more milestones but in actual fact you can't. So for all of us, these milestones are going to be showing as if you can get a powerful drop. But the problem, of course, is if you actually have done them, it's going to make it look like you haven't, which is going to make you want to do them. And then, of course, waste your time getting the rewards. It's going to be 500. So unfortunately, and I know this isn't a perfect situation, but you are going to have to remember per your characters which milestones you have and haven't done. Because like I said, the UI is glitched. It's now going to show these are all the milestones you can do. But of course, some of them you might have already done. And you're not going to get another above 500 drop. So things like Hawthorne, Okora, the Flashpoint, the Nightfall, those are fine, of course, don't worry about those you are still going to get drops from them they won't reset but it's the other ones the story mission strikes gambit and pvp the crucible one those ones are going to now show regardless whether you've done them or not so again i know it's not the perfect solution or fix but you are going to have to look back on your character and think have i done this milestone before the game is going to lie to you until you can do it again and of course promise a powerful drop but the difference is that you won't if you've already done it so definitely not the ideal time or place for this glitch to happen of course we're all trying to do our milestones and level up for the raid but hopefully i explained it well enough and hopefully i cleared up some confusion i'm not sure if this glitch happens as maybe a result of them cancelling and not doing the four day reset as they initially planned and maybe this could be the remnants of it but just bear in mind as of right now the weekly reset is still the case same as usual every seven days every tuesday and these milestones are not exactly accurate just remember what you have and haven't done leave a comment down below with your thoughts and experiences on this and of course if bungie do give an update or something changes i'll let you guys know in the video so next up let's talk about some secret awards tied to ranking systems and of course these are things that are very difficult to obtain but a few people have managed to get them so far firstly is the pinnacle reward for the gambit game mode this is the malfeasance exotic hand cannon this is my gameplay i got from bungie studio so i don't have the weapon yet obviously no one does but this is footage in the background as we know you obtain this from the drifter through a special quest line once you reset your infamy twice which of course is the ranking system for gambit itself someone by the name of little freddy appears to be the first person to reset their infamy and they're getting some pretty interesting stuff as you can see they took a picture of their screen and it does require fifteen thousand points to achieve legend and that is going to let you reset your rank once. Little Freddy then got this message on screen so it says truly infamous infamy rank complete reset now available. I'm a busy man and a lot of lights coming through Gambit these days but I see you and I expect more out of someone with your skill trust the drifter. That's a note from him of course and it says you square while highlighting Gambit to reset your infamy rank. So they then got an item called a mysterious invitation which is a consumable. A puzzling note marked the sign of the drifter return to him to collect your reward. So with this mysterious invitation and as you guys can see if you go to the drift yourself in the tower you can see this is the item required to purchase the mysterious package now this is where things get a bit confusing so he said when he bought the actual package it gave him a trust hand cannon the legendary secondary energy one a pretty good hand cannon and it came with genesis and explosive payload but then as well as the hand cannon the 
package also gave him another mysterious package, which then cost another 2,000 glimmer and five masterwork cores to open. He then opened this mysterious package and it gave him another trust hand cannon and another package. The trust hand cannon also had the exact same role, Genesis and explosive payload. So it's pretty strange. Normally, of course, a trust is random rolled like most weapons, but this one seems to give it a guaranteed set roll. So it's really strange, but it's kind of like past the parcel. Every time he opens it, it gives him another package and another exact same trust hand cannon. But again, it costs 2,000 glimmer and five masterwork cores to open it. In this image, it is level 514, so I'm guessing it's a powerful drop unless he infused it, but this is the main reward. This thing every time the trust hand cannon plus another mysterious package. So that is what happens when you reset your infamy rank once. But of course, as you can see here, once you do it twice, you're going to get given an enigmatic invitation, which then lets you open an enigmatic package. This enigmatic one is, of course, what's going to lead you to the Malfeasance Exotic Hand Cannon. Now, moving on, there is also another special secret reward that Bungie had kept as a surprise until someone had earned it. But this is the Not Forgotten Hand Cannon from Crucible. This is actually earned from the max rank of the competitive glory system of 50 500 so legend this is the kind of pinnacle max reward absolute highest you can get of course the lunas howl hand cannon is what you get from 2100 or fabled the same thing as the claymore from season three but this is season four version but now this hand cannon is a step above that this is the absolute max of 5500 points so you can see this was actually the very first person in the entire world to obtain this thing and hit the max rank someone called one second kill this is their playstation account now in terms of what this weapon actually does technically it's the exact same gun as lunas howl they're identical but it does come with two different perk rolls on it and also of course it looks a bit different it's a bit more modern and kind of chunky and like fate bring almost like but the main difference is of course are the perks so the lunar's howl has drop mag and polygonal rifling whereas this thing the not forgotten has extended barrel and accurized rounds so because those perks are different these stats are also very different so the not forgotten has a ton more range but also it's got less stability less handling and less reload speed so again they're the exact same weapons technically same base stats but the perks make it a bit different and they both do have the magnificent Hal perk and also Zen moment. So it's pretty interesting. This thing is basically an ornament and also of course you got the choice if you want a weapon with more range or more stability, handling and reload speed. So those are the two pinnacle rewards from the competitive Crucible rank system, the Lunas Hal and the Not Forgotten. Comment down below what you think of them. So next up, a few random tips and kind of bits of info I did want to mention. I have seen quite a few people talk about the Ether Ritual event, the public event inside the Four Horn Gulch. You have to shoot and kill pretty much all those white balls of Ether before they get to the middle. You can miss a few, but most of them do need to be destroyed. Something I noticed that made this incredibly, incredibly easy was the perk Outlaw. These things do actually count as headshots, so it procs the Outlaw perk. As you saw in a recent video, I got this Dreaming City auto rifle with Outlaw, so it's an amazing weapon and is so, so good for this because it triggers every time you kill one of these things. Normally soloing this and shooting them all before they reach the middle is pretty difficult, but with this weapon, any gun with Outlaw is so, so easy. So definitely grab a gun with Outlaw for this. Also grenades, explosives, tether, the Warlock Void Super, things like that, they do not work in this. So it has to be bullets or guns. That is why this thing is so good for it. And the special boss for the heroic version is actually a reanimated version of the Machinist Baron, which is pretty strange, but that is the actual heroic boss. And as you can see, this is what got me the Talisman Fragment for this character, which of course is the Dreaming City Talisman quest step. Also, by the way, you do not have to do the heroic version for this quest step. The normal version does it as well. Something else a lot of you guys have been asking me about is exotics and exotic engrams. Why aren't they dropping nearly as much as they have been for the past year? Believe it or not, this is actually not a glitch or a bug. They're dropping as intended. They're just incredibly rare now. So it's kind of back to like Destiny 1 vanilla. The exotics are very, very rare. Technically, exotic engrams don't actually exist anymore. So every single one is going to automatically decrypt when you walk over it. Also, something else that was never possible until now, but you can get exotics from literally anyone. So just a random dreg, you can get an exotic from them. Obviously, you've got a greater chance at bosses and strike bosses and kind of higher tier enemies but you can get exotics to drop on the floor as engrams you walk over them they automatically decrypt Zer is also irrelevant now because he does not sell any new forsaken exotics and Bungie said he's not going to for a very long time so it's not a mistake or just a bad rng or bad inventory he's not supposed to sell them on top of that he is also glitched right now and he's supposed to be selling a fated engram but he's currently not for some reason but even if he was that is also not going to give you any new forsaken exotics so like i said the entire exotic engram system has very much changed now so it's very similar to destiny 1 vanilla they are super rare and hard to get but honestly i absolutely love this thing it's pretty much perfect they should be rare 
rare. They should be exciting. They should be hard to get. And it should be kind of a big deal when you get one. I see people tweet and when you guys tweet me and when I play with friends, it's actually a special moment when you get an exotic now. So I think it's very, very good. In terms of my exotics, I've actually only got two so far. Firstly, the Trinity Ghoul, which I got from Gambit just super randomly. There are two exotic bows in the game right now. This is one of them. The other one being the Wish Ender from the raid. So this is the only one available right now. The Trinity Ghoul, though, is just a purely random exotic. So it's not from any quest or specific place. I got mine once again from after a Gambit match. And the second exotic I got was actually from a Crucible match. This was the Fighting Lion, which dropped at the end of it. So super random drops, but this is what I've got so far. And also, of course, every exotic is a powerful drop. So it makes it that much more exciting. But comment down below or tweet me pictures. What exotics have you got so far? And also, what do you think of the new system? But that's going to do it for this video. Of course, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and want to support this channel, you can do so by hitting the like button down below. Make sure you don't miss out on my future videos by being subscribed and have notifications turned on. Also, of course, my Instagram and Twitter are linked down below in the description. Click this image on screen to be taken to another video I recently made. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.